you know, Saturday was um, another uh, opportunity for uh, learning and growing. I thought that offensively, to see a lot of the uh, the things they gave us trouble, you know, a couple of weeks ago, and to be able to adjust to that and knock it out and run the ball well uh, was really good to see. I thought that defensively, uh, the ability to you know, um, get lined up and uh, fit, for the most part, um, a quarterback heavy run. It was basically wildcat throughout most of the, the morning. Uh, to fit all of those things and be in the position you need to be was a, was a, good, um, um, was a good sign for us. Um, a lot of these things are all going to have to be taken into this next week and improved and and done, um, you know, um, and and do better uh, because it's going to be required for our next opponent. And so, so much respect for Texas and what they do and their coaching staff. And they've had some, um, you know, those guys have been there now for a little bit. And so there's been a lot of tape on them and you can see the evolution and the growth with them. And um, you can see the confidence in their players and and so it'll be a challenge for us. I know that uh, I know that we're we're up for it and we're excited for it. Take any questions you guys have. Dave, I know you guys are as coaches are always really focused on like the X Y Z of how to beat a, an opponent. Uh, in terms of just the rivalry against Texas, mm -hmm. I mean this is like 113 times mm -hmm. that Baylor and Texas has played. Obviously, it'll be the last for a while. Um, do you will you talk to? the guys about just the rivalry and trying to like protect your home turf against those guys and and how cool is it for you as a coach to just be a part of it no i appreciate that we are going to talk about that you know i think as an aside to that but probably not an aside is um i can't tell you how many times um this off season it's been um hey dave just win one game, please, you know? And so that has been brought up to me multiple, multiple times. And so, um, you know, I can, I, I, I sense it and I know it. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm uh, blessed and more blessed to be able to do something about it. And so, but we're definitely gonna talk about the history and just some of the bigger games in the past uh, because I think that's way important with something like this. Dave, uh, last week, running the football, controlling the clock, mm -hmm. and, and that aspect of the game, is that in preparation for the game plan against Texas this week? Is that what you have to do to win? No, I appreciate that. I, I feel um, to, for us to win, I think there has to be um, the line of scrimmage on both sides um, being really kind of separate from the skill on both sides. And so, uh, you know, whether that's front seven or that's tight ends and uh, O line and running backs, you know, doing their thing, and so that it can it causes the defense to have to adjust and bring. Uh, if offensively we're doing that, defense is bringing people in. If defensively we're doing that, then we can bring people out. Uh, so I think it's very important that line of scrimmage and physicality and violence and all that occurs, so that um, we can take our math and put it put it in other places. And so I think, you know, there's been some growth in that and well needed, you know, from the first week to this. Uh, I think there needs to be a, uh, some more, you know. Um, I think along with that then becomes the ability to, um, uh, to not be in one coverage all the time because you have to be to be able to change up things. I'm talking about on first down particularly. Um, and I think that gives you a lot more, um, you know, and we were able to do that in this game. You know, it's going to be quite um, to do the same thing, and this next one is going to be, you know, a, a bigger, a bigger step and a heavier lift, and you know, it's all part of it. But I think that for us to get good, the front's got to take care of the front, so the secondary can, we can um, uh, use those people as needed. So I think it was a good step in the right direction. Watching film, do you see in the trenches that your team can win the game there? Is a Texas team that you can find susceptible in that area? Appreciate that. I feel you know they're um, they're big up front. They're physical. I think the there's a fair amount. They're built for kind of what we're talking about because their insides and outsides are very separate. And so inside they'll have a run. They'll have a buck sweep. And this goes back to um, playing Alabama. 
Whereas if you're in a tight front, they'll pull the two guards uh, to like, if there's a nub, a tight end nub, and they'll have three receivers this way, they'll pull to the nub side, and over here they'll run some type of screen, some type of RPO, and so you have to be, it can't get any clearer than that. You're divided, run people in here, skill people out there. And so I think they're built that way in a similar fashion. And so I think, um, you know, for us to get to where we need to, right, you'd, you'd like to be able to say, hey, here's these, here's these people in the box, here's these people out of it, and then we can count on doing our jobs kind of in a separate manner. And so we'll see. I think that's the goal. And we've done it before um, here. And so we're aiming to do it again. Dave, this is probably the most high-profile matchup against Texas in, in recent memory. How do you kind of go about preparing – uh, starting game week, you know, uh, for such a big game. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, I think it would be for us, you know, uh, putting this last game to bed and the things that we did well and the things that we need to improve on. And then it would be, you know, hey, these are the steps that we've taken to get better, right? Here's the uh, where we're headed. Here's what we could be. You know, I think always coming back to that vision is way important um, because I think that's the goal and that's where we want to get to. You know, a team that plays with uh, energy, a team that plays with a confidence and an edge, and a team that executes. I think the execution part um, was the best it's been this past Saturday. Now, to um, to have this heavier lift, so to speak, and to play well versus Texas, we're going to need better execution. And so I think that's where we would start. And how that relates to today and how that relates to this week, and this is what we got to get done, and this is how we have to approach it, and all of it. Uh, I think for some of our younger players, the spotlights and the bright lights and all of it, like take their eyes off of that and put it on what's right in front of them. Dave, what makes Texas better this year than they've been maybe the last couple of years? Appreciate that. I think the offensive line has matured to where they can, um, you know, they can get a pressure, they can get a stunt, and they can pick it up and climb up to the linebacker and seal them. I think in the past, pressure stunts. They'd be muddled in here, and you have a free runner. And so I think they've matured to where stuff com comes at them, and they can kind of take it in stride. And then I think, you know, their skill has gotten better. And so, you know, last year they had one wide receiver, and he's back, and he's a really good player and everything. And where was he? And now they've got another guy on the other side. And so, um, you know, to, to, be able to, have, to be able to defend two guys that – uh, can do something after the after the catch and you know to reduce space on them to a degree to where they're not given access but then not give not leave yourself vulnerable to one-on-one -on -one shot plays all that is a trick uh, is a trick to play Dave against a team a powerful team like Texas we talked about it uh, last Saturday about how you all came out second half mm -hmm. dominant but do you think against a number three team like the Longhorns that it's key to starting off that game really strong right off the bat Yes, appreciate that. Yeah, I thought defensively we did in this last game, and I think if it wasn't, I th and I thought in the running game, you know, we we were an offensively now speaking. I thought defensively we played fast from the start to finish, um, and I thought energy and everything was there. I thought offensively where we probably lacked the juice in the beginning of the game was the throwing game. You know, I just think we were off, and that's unfortunate. And so uh, something to be addressed and something that we need to be starting fast in this, in this next game. I thought uh, running the ball-wise, um, you know, we we're kind of planning for one thing, and they, you know, very evidently and, um, and quickly we could see that they're running Texas State's game plan. And so after that first series, that was really the cause of that first series. And then coming back and making the adjustments, I thought we were able to take off after that. And so the improvement from, you know, it took a half uh, to uh, it took a series was what was on display on Saturday. With that, excuse me, with that throwing game, mm -hmm. uh, how is Blake progressing in his rehab? And then <clears throat> with Sawyer, um, is, is some of the, you know, just maybe the little misses on mm -hmm. connections, you know, down the field or whatever, maybe due to, you know, he was getting more reps with the twos and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, so Blake is still um, probably a week out, and so not anticipating or expecting Blake in this game. I think for Sawyer, um, you know, Sawyer is one of the most competitive people I know. So we have a, um, a 
ping pong table there in our players lounge and um you know the specialists our our snappers and our holders are kind of bullies of the ping pong table and so they whoop up on anyone that comes but sawyer whoops up on them and calls them out and you know after you know then there's the the pop shot and he's he wants to compete versus the boy competes versus and with anybody uh versus anything and so i think though uh particularly saturday i think he was trying to be too perfect i think he was trying to not lose the game and i think uh you know i think in the challenge with so much of this is to keep the outside on the outside and just to focus on what's on the inside and i feel like i failed him in that respect and so i think to kind of clear clear the air with it and kind and get focused on what's right in front of him i think gives him a great chance to just be competitive and go after it and all that so we're excited for him this week and i know that he um is ready for another bite at, at the apple coach in terms of scheduling this is your final home game before you head on the road can uh-huh. you talk about how important it is to look strong before you head out of mclean stadium no i appreciate that yeah i think it's important to get a win you know and so we're aiming to do that, and um, that's the, uh, you know, behind everything we're doing, it's for that. And, you know, I think for the, 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 the fans and the crowd, I think it's, I've, I've said it before prior to the season, that it's important that we win, and it's important that there's excitement, and it's important that there's something to cheer for. And so this gives us an opportunity before we leave to do that, and uh, we have not lost sight of that. Byron Bonds, is, he had a couple sacks. You and others have spoken very highly of him. Uh, what does his energy experience, he started his college career at Texas, what does mm-hmm. he bring to the group and the team overall? Appreciate that. He brings um, a mentality of um, uh, I'll show you, uh, let, let me prove to you, uh, chip on your shoulder, edge, fighter, um, he brings that and and and, I, and a whole lot of that and so i think it's been it's been great for us it's been great for that uh outside backer room it's been great for the defense and i think um you know his growth off the field been way cool and i just think all of it i think he's he's trending in all the right directions i'm way proud of him being in the fall we a lot about the wide receiver room mm-hmm. and just kind of the growth that they took from mm-hmm. last year to this year. What have you kind of seen from them and how do you evaluate that room for the first three games? No, appreciate that. Yeah, I think I think all of that, um, I think all, there has been a lot of growth and, it's, and it has been tight. And, um, you know, I think we have to do a better job collectively, and I'm putting myself first with this, of making sure that we're getting the ball out to them. I, you look at that first game and what it looked like, that's about what it was in our practices or scr- and or scrimmages. And, um, you know, we have to do a better job of making sure that we're getting the ball out to our playmakers. I think Keytron can do a whole lot with it. Monterey can do a whole lot with it. Um, Hal, all of them, you know. And so I think that's, a, um, that's probably an area, if I had to pick one, where we're off the mark, it's that one right now. And so for us to be able to, to play faster, be more explosive, and to um, to score more points, I think we've got to be able to get the ball in our playmakers' hands. Dave, uh, Isaiah lost his job last year. Mm-hmm. What got him back on track and doing what he's doing now? Yeah, I appreciate that. Isaiah's always been like this. And I know whenever you're like that on the outside, you're not that way on the inside, you know. And so, but he's always been like that. And I think, um, you know, you can easily be, you know, uh, overlooked or forgotten or kind of uh, blended in when you are like that, you know. And, but I, th- I think for him in those spaces when, uh, you know, John was doing the kicking is that his head was down, he was working, he was the first to congratulate John. I mean, just all the things he would make. Um, and seeing him in those instances, it makes me, you know, um, want to be better, want to try better and be less um, so self-absorbed, you know. And so I think when he had his opportunity again, 
I mean, there's just so much growth there that, um, you know, and here's new people coming in to kind of take a, a job that was his that he lost and he's fighting to get it back and he fought those guys off. And so it's, it's really cool to see. And, you know, I th the, um, his relationship with Tyler Hancock and the people that work with our specialists is really strong. And I think Tyler's been a big factor in, in just the confidence getting up and up and, you know, the mechanics of all of it. And so I think he's in for a big season. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys.